All right, um, this is um, from Peacock, Pro Football Talk. Mike Florio, Mike Golick, on should the Browns consider trading Odell Beckham Jr.? When you put up 42 points and Odell Beckham Jr. has two catches for 20 yards, something ain't right there. Something is not right there. And I, I said before the season that Beckham is a candidate to be traded if the Browns continue to, to get it done on offense and he's not a big part of it. And here we are, five games in, he's not a big part of that offense. And I just can't help but wonder somebody, whether somebody out there is going to say, man, what we could do with Odo Beckham Jr. and if they're going to call him at some point over the next three weeks. Yeah, they, they listen. They have a lot of weapons, you know. And Odell first, you know, has been injured, so hasn't been part of the process. First game back, he had some catches, but yeah, he has not been a big part of that offense. It was good to see Njoku finally because he's such an athletic tight end, a guy you can use, you know, in great matchup situations uh, if he can start to flourish. But I, I'm with you. I mean, it just hasn't been with Beckham uh, at all. And, and and this is again an offense that leans incredibly on the running game. I get, yeah, I get where they're going with that. I, I think the big game is coming, much like I said a couple weeks ago. I thought there was a big game in the future of David Njoku. I think there's a big game where Odell gets a, a bunch of yards and a couple of touchdowns coming in the not-too-distant future. Dave, you smell that? They're, they're stirring the pot. They're <laughs> stirring the pot. It smells good. It smells like it makes sense. I, I disagree. I, I think that – I disagree with them, not you. I think that there is a big Odell game coming because, again – like I said, he's finding a way to get open. All it is is just about getting connected. You saw in that first game against Chicago, he was able to, you know, get over 70 yards. He was able to get a few catches. You know, it looked good. It wasn't forced. It was just getting him open and being able to find him. And that was the biggest difference. Like, again, and, you know, I know that Florio puts this out there every few weeks. Again, like I said, just, just stirring the pot away, just stirring the pot at that point. But, you know, I, I, I look at Odell. Is there a disconnect currently? Yeah, I, I think so. But at the same time, in a 47 to 42 loss, the biggest issue that I have is the fact that on the defensive side, you weren't getting as many stops. And again, when it's a high scoring game, you know, I'm just glad the Browns were able to hang in there and stick around with it. But at the same time too, again, I think that, yeah, there's a play or two that you can have from Odell in there. And like he mentioned too, you know, David Njoku having a big game, I think that's going to happen regardless more times than not going forward. Because, again, I think that he's destined for a big breakout year. But at the same time, again, I think that that Odell game is coming and it's going to be coming soon.